Welcome back to Storytimes with Clutha District Libraries. I'm Raywin and I'm going to read On the Farm, Harvest. It's written by Jamie and Lee Lamb by Lee Lamb Publishing. The grain and grass is ready at last, so the farmer gives the contractor a call. He's coming the next day to make silage and hay, and he has the machinery to do it all. Soon enough, the big machines arrive with their paintwork all shiny and bright. They rumble and clatter along the dirt tracks with their big tires and flashing lights. The tractor towing the mower behind it pulls into the paddock of long grass. The mower is lowered and the grass is cut by sharp blades that spin really fast. The mower leaves the hay in rows until the rake turns it over. The rake is towed by a very cool truck they call the Old Land Rover. And if you've read any of these stories before, you'll recognise these two dogs. They come up again shortly. Once the hay has been left long enough to dry out in the sun, the old truck pulls the rake around, which flips three rows into one. The big red baler starts up in the raked paddock and from it comes a loud whirring sound. The pickup on the baler sucks in a row of hay, then from the back out rolls a bale that is round. Have you seen lots of round bales around you on the farms? The header's big front spins to harvest the grain then it's stored in the bin on the back. When it's full, the auger loads the grain into trucks, much to the amazement of Jack. And there he is. He's in the cab of the truck. The chaser trucks fill their, gold, fill their grain bins. Then they rumble down the road. To keep up with the headers, they need to be quick. So they're in a hurry to dump their load. The truck backs up to the silo at the farm gate to empty the grain from the bin. While they're unloading the grain with the auger, Tom sneakily jumps right in. While Tom is happily sitting in the cab, he finds some yummy things to eat. But when the driver finds he's eaten his lunch, Tom quickly loses his seat. Can you see the farmer is chasing him out of the truck. Jack and Tom think they run the show and most of the time they're right. But these huge farm machines have tricky controls which are set to human height. The silage chopper, can you see it there? Picks up the grass then out the chute it is blown the truck driving alongside catches the silage until it's almost overflowing. The trucks unload grass onto the stack, making the sides rather steep. Loaders are busy doing their job here, which is to push up and roll over the heap. When the silage stack has enough grass, a plastic cover is put on top for protection. Old tires are used to hold the cover down and they're thrown on from every direction. The drivers say goodbye to the dogs with a pet after they've locked up their gear. With all the winter feed now made and stored, the harvest is completed for another year. Tom and Jack are getting their pet. Do you enjoy that story? Maybe you can find it at Clutha District Libraries.